Graph transformations involving dilations. So our focus here is going to be to look at uh, how a graph dilates and, and understand what it actually means. So first we can have, if we have a function y equals f of x, um, how can we uh, stretch it and dilate it along either the x or the y axis? Now, our first case is multiplying the whole function by a factor of k. And this will work if we... And what's going to happen here when we multiply by a factor of k, it's going to dilate the graph or stretch it in by a factor of k. It's going to dilate by a factor of k in the from the x-axis. And this will actually be the same thing if we've already shifted the graph along the x-axis as well. So it'll, if we have it in the form f of x plus b all times y a factor of k, this will have the same effect as well. So how do we dilate in terms of the y-axis? Well, that's going to involve taking the f of some factor of k, kx. And this will actually dilate by a factor of 1 over k from the y-axis. And again, this will also hold true if you've already shifted the graph along the x-axis in this form here. And probably to make better sense of this, we need to look at some examples. Let's draw up our xy axis. So let's start off with f of x equals x squared. And let's graph this out or sketch it out. So we're just going to get our parabola looking something like that. Now let's look at our first case of dilation where we multiply the whole function by a factor of k. So let's look at multiplying by a factor of 3. So if we take our whole function and multiply by a factor of 3, we just get 3x squared. And it's going to look something like this. And let's look at our last case where we're Taking, substituting our x for a factor of k x. So in this case, we're going to have, let's look at f of 3x, which is just going to give us 3x all squared, which equals 9x squared. And it's going to look something like this. Now to make sense of this, let's mark in a couple of points. Let's mark in x equals 1, x equals 3. And what are those, what are the y values for x equals 1? Well, on our original graph, we'll just get 1 squared, which is 1. On our second graph, we'll get 3 times 1 squared, which is 3. And on our last graph, we'll get 9 times 1 squared, which is going to give us 9. And let's just mark in on our original graph the 3. 3 squared is also 9. Now our first dilation, we spoke about by multiplying the whole function by a factor of k, it dilates by a factor of k from the x-axis. So this is our red, our red function here. And we can see by multiplying the whole function by 3, what's happened is that from the x-axis, we can see that the original function was one unit away, and now the new function is three units away 
in the same spot for x. So we've done, we've stretched out by a factor of three from the x-axis. What about our next dilation? So we're talking about this dilation as dilating by a factor of one over k from the y-axis. And how can we how can we see that? Well, our original function over here, when x was equal to 3, y was equal to 9. But now, on our new function, when y equals 9, x actually equals 1. So we've, we've, what happens is we've multiplied by a factor of 1 over 3 and got us closer to the y-axis. Mm -hmm.